After we have learned how to configure the mission objects in the last video, in today's video we're gonna learn how to find, import, and insert lights in our project. So stay tuned. It's exactly the same thing as in Dialogs. You can use LDT or IES files, but then if they are not from the, I mean, uh, a Relux partner, you're not gonna see the name of the brand as well as the number or the uh, name of the product. And then there is the format that is proper to Relux, like ULD in Dialux, and it's actually the Luminaire, like, I mean the 3D shape plus the photometrical data inside of it. And it's good, especially if you need 3D uh, renders. Let's now go to products to find Luminaires. You can go to Luminaire here and like go to, uh, the look here is the Relux demo. I mean uh, luminaires but then let's go to online in the online here we have like um, the brands I mean the, the the partners the relux partners they can go on for example like select this one and then you can go and like I have done this in the I mean um, in the first video or maybe the second one in this relux uh, series and then you can go for example here you can go to product group emergency floor lamps etc etc here is the mounting mounting type let's go for example pendulum and fit in and then you have a lot of lights here when you choose one let's say for example i have chosen this one i will go to add it's added to the selected um list here and then i can go and press ok and then if i go back to luminaire here i will find it it's here and then you can also go to Reluxnet. In here, you have a lot of options, like thousands and thousands of luminaires ready to uh, to be uh, imported to to Relux. And here we can you can say that you're looking for luminaires or maybe sensors or maybe 3D objects. But then we need luminaires. And then you have like this filter to specify the exact, like to find the exact um, luminaire you're looking for. Let's say here, for example, let's go to LDT, LDC type. For example, you're looking for a narrow beam luminaire, something like that. And then you go to the application, you can say that you want it to be interior. And then the mounting place, you want it to be mounted on, on the ceiling. And then the mounting type, want it to be um, yes surface mounted the shape want it to be um, a cylinder for example lamp type LED and then control gear electronic ballast for example and then the socket there is nothing in the socket for this type here maintenance factor classification of the luminaire there's nothing again, 3D file, geo, test mark, test marks you need, I mean the certifications, explosion protection gas, blah, 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 and all that, I mean, and then until you find exactly the right luminaire you're looking for. But then in my case, I have the article number, so I'm just gonna go and type it, 1T9498. TA and then enter and here is my um, my spot actually so here I have I can like download it I can open it in Relux as well as I can open it in Rivet but then I want to open it in Relux it doesn't work I don't know why it doesn't open in, in Relux if I go here it's not there so what shall I do I will drag and drop it in my project like that. It's there. I will just click somewhere there just to import it and then I will press escape and I will delete this luminaire here. And then I will go to the floor plan and then go to products and go to luminaires and then here is my spot. Right now, I want this spot actually on this circulation here. I want it here. 
as well as I wanted to I mean to light these paintings so I'm gonna go and um, like first I want it for this alley here so I'm gonna click on luminaires and right click and choose field here so I want it from this point from this point here all the way to this wall here actually I need to go and uncheck this grid snap here for me to be uh, free in my work so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna click here and then in the X axis I want three but then in the Y axis I want only one so okay here they are if I go to the 3d view they look something like that
Once the project is calculated, here are the results we have. So, the, work, the reference plane 2 is actually the working area and the value we have is 235 but we needed 300. The second one is the meeting area. We have 296 and for this one, for the circulation, we have 351 but we only needed 100 which is too much. We need to reduce the quantity here. And then for the other ones, we need to we need to move the lights down a little bit near to the uh, reference planes. So, field one, we need to make them only two. Let's go to the quantity here. Let's make them only two, like that. As for this one, we need to move it further down. Oh, I mean, I'm moving this one. Or I can come to, I mean, to this Z here in the position and I can make it 1.8, for example. Same thing for this one. We can move it to um, 2.3, for example, and then run the calculations again to see what, I mean, the, the, the results. Skip. After we have run the calculations, we see that um, this one is fulfilled again, but it's still too much light. There's still too much light, which means that we only need one, or maybe we need to find another spot for this circulation that is less powerful. And then for here, it doesn't show any color, which means we need to go and uh, give them a profile, actually. Let's go to the evaluation areas where are they here we need to give them a profile actually we need to go to nominal values profile let's select office office and then fill and copy in okay now it knows what it is and then the evaluation area too i thought we've done this in the last video but then maybe i haven't saved it so i will go to offices we need the conference and meeting rooms and then enter so this is our meeting room we still need more light here so uh, maybe the solution for that is to change this light as well as like in this case I can move it for, further down so I'll go to um, yeah I'll just click on it click on this um, lumen here I will move it for, further down let's go to the Z here and make it 1.8 for example no 1.8 1.8 then this one is now um, the standard is fulfilled as for this one we can go and change the I mean the um, we can go and find another spot that is less powerful but then in this case I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm going to go and run my calculations again. Now, like you can see it here in this result um, part, all the parts are well lit and all the standards and the standards are, um, I mean, fulfilled. I mean you can like for this one here there is a little bit too much light but then if the luminaire is dimmable then it's not a big deal. Alright that's it for this video. If you find it useful please give it a thumbs up and if you um, have any kind of questions or remarks or anything please let me know in the comments down below and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and see you in the next video.